Uh, I think smartphones are revolutionary because they bring so many things together in one place that were all separate before. Firstly, they, they have an incredibly powerful computer in them. They are connected to the internet, which contains the sum total of humankind's knowledge. They have a whole series of sensors that can feel and hear and see the environment around them. And uh, they uh, and they have things like touch screens that allow us to interact with them in a, in a new and better way. And, and what makes them revolutionary is all that's come together in one place and, and we can program them. We can tell them what we want them to do now. And so to me it's a, a new kind of uh, writing surface or creative surface that if everyone was enabled, and everyone, and everyone already does have great ideas for their own apps, uh, making use of all those things in all the different combinations that they have make it, make it revolutionary. So, so I have a new graduate course called Creative Applications for Mobile Devices and uh, the purpose of the course is to enable people from many disciplines to create interesting and new uh, applications for smartphones and mobile devices. Throughout the world there are many courses where people are programming apps but what's unique about my course is that it's open to every graduate student on the University of Toronto campus. So it doesn't matter what discipline you're in, you can take the course. And the purpose is to bring together people from all disciplines together with those who can program to create applications in the field of those non-programmers. We call them appers in the course because uh, it sounds better. Being experts in their field. So, they, so the, the real key part is that they have a lot of knowledge in these other fields and they can bring that together with a programmer, bring that to fruition inside a, an interesting app. The most exciting applications of mobile devices I think are in the medical realm. Lot, lot, lots of people want to know how, how do you create apps? What do you need to know in order to create apps on mobile phones? And, and I think the most essential thing is an ability to program computers. The mobile smartphones are computers after all, and so you have to have some basics in that. A, a, a smartphone has almost everything that a laptop computer has except a keyboard and, and a physical keyboard that makes it easier to type into it. Um, the smartphone has more, more than the uh, laptop does. It has all the sensors, the camera, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the compass, the barometer, um, and, port and better portability. So it has almost everything except the keyboard. As I've always been fascinated by what computers could do and ever since we noticed that they were, they were shrinking and getting smaller, I've been waiting for the day when these phones came along. I used to commission undergraduates to do projects on the old Palm Pilots, if you remember then, and, and I used to stare at the Franklin translators that people were out there. I'm like, why can't we program these things? And it wasn't until the iPhone came along and they made it easy and possible to program these things that it all became possible. So I think I've been waiting for this for my entire uh, professional life because I, I was always so excited about what computers could do, especially if they were small and, and, and traveled with us. What advice would I give to people who are interested in exploring innovative technologies? This is really important. People should learn how to program computers. They should learn to write software. Software is the language of innovation and automation. Software is the language you speak to these slaves, the computers that will do whatever you want them to do without complaining until they become sentient and form unions and so forth. They will do whatever we want them to do. So you can automate everything and, and everything can be connected into a computer. And the other thing that you may not realize, in all branches of, of research, almost everyone creates a model of what they want to do in a computer written in software. And that's how you innovate. You, you model this thing, you model the human body, you kill it many times over without anyone actually dying, and, and you test drugs and you test therapies. And when you want to create new cities, you model the city and its structures in a computer and test it, and you've tested it many different ways. So software is the language of innovation and automation. And so if you want to be part of the next generation, learn to speak it. <laughs>